welcome back everyone. Today we are going to make a chemical called benzyl chloride. You may ask why we are even making this chemical. Well, I'm not going to tell you. You are soon going to find out why anyways. If you aren't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe in order not to miss out on that. The chemicals needed for today's preparation are around 52 milliliters of benzyl alcohol, 80 milliliters of 37% hydrochloric acid, which represents a huge excess in hydrous calcium chloride and sodium carbonate solution. Benzyl chloride is toxic and a potent lacrimator, therefore a gas mask and nitrile gloves will be worn. The preparation will even be conducted in a very well ventilated area. Without further ado, let's begin. We started off by measuring out about 52 milliliters of benzyl alcohol. For good luck, we spilled some of it. The benzyl alcohol was transferred to a 1 liter round bottle flask containing a stirfish. Next, the hydrochloric acid was measured out in the same cylinder. 80 milliliters of 37% stuff is way more than needed, but it helps to increase the yield significantly by altering the equilibrium. If you look closely, you can see how aggressively 37% hydrochloric acid fumes. Steering was turned on to keep bumping to a minimum and to mix it all up. A reflux condenser was attached to the flask and at first we connected a hose adapter to keep in HCl gas, but this turned out to be a huge failure. The reflux condenser was flushed with water, heating was turned up to max and a reflux was performed for one hour. At the beginning a lot of HCl gas escaped. At the beginning the mixture was perfectly clear, but as we stirred and heated it, something interesting happened. The mixture quickly became opaque. We refluxed for some time, but as the HCl evaporation became too aggressive, an activated charcoal filled drying tube was used instead of the hose adapter. This also worked for some time until the cotton ball fell out, making a huge mess. I'm not going to dive into the mechanism taking place, which is an SN1 and an SN2 reaction. SN meaning substitution nucleophilic. But here's the general reaction. Benzyl alcohol reacts with hydrochloric acid to form benzyl, chloride and water. One hour has now passed and the heating mantle was turned off. Two layers became visible and everything was transferred to a separatory funnel. The bottom layer is the aqueous layer and it was drained off. There might still be hydrochloric acid dissolved into the benzyl chloride. So we added a dilute solution of sodium carbonates to get rid of it. The funnel was capped and shaken, but it didn't film the shaking process. The layers were afterwards allowed to separate again. I assumed the bottom layer was the aqueous one, but it wasn't. Fortunately, I learned from my mistakes from making bromobenzene and didn't discard it immediately. As nitrous calcium chloride was added, I was able to see that I messed up calcium carbonate forming, meaning that this was the aqueous layer. As we still had the other layer, some anhydrous calcium chloride was also dumped in and it immediately sucked up all water and sank to the bottom. Swell a few times, transfer to a dry flask, set up a distillation setup and you are ready for a purification by distillation. The distillation bridge was flushed with water, heating and stirring were turned on and nearly everything was distilled over. Benzyl chloride distills over at around 179 degrees Celsius and everything coming over above was discarded. In its entirety, the distillation took about half an hour. Here you can see a beautiful vapor front of benzyl chloride climbing up the wall of the round bottom flask. The benzyl chloride coming over still contained some water as it looks a little opaque. This can easily be fixed though. After disconnecting the receiving flask, an hydrous calcium chloride was added as a drying agent and the product obviously cleared up. All the water has now been removed as indicated by the perfect clearness of the benzyl chloride. The benzyl chloride was carefully transferred to pre-weight tight sealing storage bottle. In total 50.5 grams of benzyl chloride were collected which represents a yield of 87.8%. Benzyl chloride might look harmless, but it is a potent lacrimator and it is toxic. I'm not saying this because I read it somewhere online, but because I actually felt its lacrimatory effects. They are not as bad as I expected them to be, but they are still noticeable. Anyways, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, make sure to like and if you don't want to miss out on further chemistry content like that, make sure to subscribe. These videos aren't cheap to produce. If you want to support me, make sure to check out my Patreon. 
Anyways, I wish all of you a great day. See you soon.